everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, today's video is hopefully not going to be too long. I just wanted to record this video quickly as a prayer for what's happening in Australia. The mass devastation of what's going on in Australia is the worst I've ever seen. I, I've never seen reports of fires so bad. Uh, as a Sydney Australia girl who, who grew up in Sydney, I remember fires and bushfire season. I remember, you know, growing up and sometimes there'd be smoke in the sky and the sun would appear red and it would all be very scary. Um, and of course, when I was there, you know, you'd get a day or two of that. From what I'm hearing, it's, there is no end in sight. This is truly, truly awful what's going on. Um, and I wanted to make a video as a prayer to, to the fireys of Australia, really, and all the individuals who are stepping up and going beyond the call of duty, all the volunteers who are giving what they have, their time, their bodies, you know, their, their lives. People are, are being extraordinary um, down there in Australia and people are being so strong and courageous. And I guess I just want this video to act as a prayer um, and also to send gratitude, you know, to people who are going beyond the call of duty and um, doing the most extraordinary things. It's, it's men, it's women. I saw a video of a lady who, you know, she took her top off, ran into the bush and um, rescued a, a koala bear. I read a headline today that was so thoroughly disturbing that half a billion animals um, have likely been killed, uh, lost their lives, perished in the fires, and that the fact that some species may even be lost. This is all just so heartbreaking and devastating. Um, so I definitely wanted to take a look at this astrologically. I don't want to take up too much time, but I did have a look this morning and um, it's not looking too good, I will tell you that. Another thing this morning that came into my head, um, and by the way, today is the 1st of uh, January, 2020. We started the year, so that's nice. But I mean, it's very sad that, that we start with an entire continent of our world on fire. It, it, this, is, this is awful. Um, so while I did say the energy was gonna be good this year, um, and I am feeling good energy today. I tell you, I, I truly am. I feel ener energized to make a video. Uh, I've actually been sick for the last two weeks in bed, so um, I haven't had a good time lately. But um, this morning I woke up and I was like, I have to make this video and I have to look astrologically. And there were four word words that, that popped into my head and that's why I know I need to make this video. So I got the words controlled, sustained human effort. That's what's going to be needed in order to get through this. It doesn't feel like there is a natural solution coming anytime soon. It doesn't feel like there's gonna be rain. And I've talked about this before because I had a request from the farmers of Australia. Hello to any of the farmers of Australia who are watching. Thank you so much for watching this channel and um, I know I've got a request from you to look at the year ahead for Australia that is still on my to-do list. But um, earlier in the year, last year, I was in touch with some of the farmers of Australia who were asking, you know, when are we gonna get rain for, for farming, right? Now we're looking at when are we gonna get rain just to, just for survival, just for basic survival, right? Just to keep animals alive, just to keep trees and plants alive. Um, and people, you know, this is very, very serious now. So. When are we going to get that rain? And I've been having a look today. I haven't looked at, a, at an Australia chart or anything like that. I know that some astrologers like to use charts of countries. I'm a bit dubious about um, those charts. I tend not to use them because what moment do you pick? What moment do you pick as the birth of a country? 
very difficult. It's kind of easy for newer modern countries where, say, for example, a constitution is given to the people. Maybe that's the moment that you choose. I'm not 100% sure, so I don't trust those charts. What I have decided to do is I'm looking at a general um, Aries moon chart, uh, and I'm just looking at the belt, the cosmic belt. I'm not looking, I'm not pinning the zodiac down to any ascendant point or any of that. I'm just looking at where the planets are, sign-wise. And what I can tell you is that the majority of our planets, especially the big, large planets, the big forces, the big players, they are all concentrated in fire and earth. That's where they are right now. Uh, they're all there. And I think that's what's caused this situation to, to really go out of hand. There's no natural relief because nature is concentrated in, as I say, in Sagittarius and Capricorn, in fire and earth. And of course, we've got Rahu there in, um, in Gemini, which is, which is air, which is wind, I suppose, air really. But I have heard that wind is causing a problem in Australia as well because it's picking up little embers and bits and it's, you know, fires are starting that way as well. So this is all very serious. What I did earlier today was I, I clicked back through the years to see, all right, when have we had this kind of concentration before? Has there been a time where I can spot that, oh yeah, that might be a time where there'd be fires? And I did. As I clicked back through the years, I had a look at concentrations of energy. And what I was able to do is when I clicked back to 2002 and 2003, I could see, wow, so many planets were up um, we're looking at uh, sort of Taurus and Gemini, and I thought there would probably be fires at that time. So when was that, 2002, 2003? So I Google searched bushfires Australia 2002, and sure enough, yes, um, I've got a note here. Wikipedia says Australian bushfire season was a particularly extensive bushfire season in Australia 2002 to 2003. Um, predominantly ran from December 2002 to March 2003 and I had a look at that and yeah sure enough we've got quite a bit of planetary energy um, up there. Now it's particularly bad at least they had I think they had Jupiter in Cancer which is not so bad. Now we've even got Jupiter in a, in a spot where ideally we wouldn't want to have Jupiter. Let me click back to 2019 um, I mean, this is extraordinary. It's such a big concentration of a lot of big energies. Hang on, where are we? They've all moved up and they've all moved into this area. Hang on a moment. Let's come back to January. Oh, no, 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 we are 2020, aren't we? Hang on, November, December. Yep, they're all here. Jupiter's here. Ketu is here, the nodes, the nodes are, so we've got Ketu in fire, we've got Rahu in air, we've got Saturn leaving fire going into earth, there's very little relief, um, the big players are here, Mars is touring Scorpio right now, so, but there, Scorpio, still waters run deep, it's not the kind of water we want, um, I'm going to say, that we will have some relief. Now, I think when Venus steps into Pisces, there's got to be some change. And, and Mars is about to step out of Scorpio, so how is that going to go? I don't know. Uh, but I feel like there's got to be some form of relief there with Venus in Pisces. So we're kind of looking at uh, Feb 2nd onwards. And that's what I'm kind of seeing. Maybe that first week of Feb, I'm really hoping and praying that that's got to be some form of change or some form of relief. But yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video to say that my heart goes out to every Australian during this time. Uh, astrologically, there is a reason as to why this is happening. So if your mind needs a reason, then, then there is a reason. But I think we've all just got to surrender to nature, to God, to ask for help. Um, and I guess this is the way in which I want to pray, which is to say, all right, 
universe guide us show us show us what to do you know all hands on deck tell me tell me how I can help and I'll and I'll help and that's really Saturn is stepping into Capricorn now as of Feb okay so there's another big movement we've got there that's massive I'm going to be doing some videos about that I'm definitely going to be talking about Saturn moving into Capricorn because that's leadership and that's leadership is, is going to be in focus for the next 2.5 years it's a massive topic so this is a time right now in Australia where there are many new leaders emerging um, you know just because you wear a suit and you hold an office of Prime Minister or something like that doesn't necessarily make you a leader um, you know I, I think the true leaders are the ones who are out there helping the people with the people uh, and, and there's a lot of that going on in Australia so um, let's keep our focus on those great men and women who are doing a lot and uh, let's give our gratitude to them our support to them and let's keep praying to the universe that show us what to do show us how to work with nature show us how to move forward from this so my heart goes out to Australia my heart goes out to everyone out there and um, I look forward to seeing you next time Thank you.